Oh, Eric! I know, there's no Eric. That's but right. We have a friend Hunter Colvin in here in today. Hey, uh, I'm Hunter. I am a senior at Fraser High School, and I'm a hardcore Miami Dolphins fan. Oh boy. Yeah, so we got some AFC South. Uh, Loving over here. Yeah. Yeah, so. Fins up. Or AFC North. East. east. Oh, East. Gosh. Yeah. Wow, Ooh. we're starting to show off on a bad floor. There you <laughs> go. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's get into, let's get into the hot seat headlines. Uh, over the weekend, are Ryan Fitzpatrick and Pat Mahomes the real deal? Well, here's my so, take. Fitzpatrick has been a veteran in this league for a while, so, I mean. Well, yeah, but you like I feel like that's part of the reason, but Patrick Mahomes has caught me way off guard. Yes. Because Andy Reid gave so much faith in him after Alex Smith left, even when right. he drafted him because he knew he was going to be a replacement. Right. I, I, was, I thought he was going to be average. I didn't think he was going to be this good. Did amazing. I think they are the real deal, to be honest with you. I thought he was going to be good, but I thought it would be like, you know what, Kansas City's going to win five, They're gonna win or, games five or six games yeah. yes. for, two, yeah. for two years. For like a couple of years till he gets up. Not have, how many touchdowns? Ten, ten, ten touchdowns, touchdowns yeah. in two, two games. games. Yeah. Four uh, week one, six versus Steelers last week. Yeah. Insane. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, and Ryan Fitzpatrick, too, he's got eight he's a through two. He's got eight through two and over... 800 yards. That's yeah. That's Over 800 it. yards, pushing up, pushing, pushing 900 for this game. And here's the here's the thing. With Fitzpatrick, this is what, what number team is this for him? It's like it's like the third, third, third or fourth, 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 yeah. fifth. Jets, Texans. You know he's but he's yeah. bounced around. He why hasn't he played like this before? Honestly, honestly, it could I, just be with the people around him. Like, what do you think, Hunter? What do you think? Uh, I just, he's just, I don't, I to be honest, I think he's just like it's like his year. I, I his year, he has that groove. Yeah, he has that groove, and also you gotta put into like, is, is it the system he's in? That could be it. It could be it too, but you also gotta think he beat the Eagles. Well, yeah, I mean, he beat he beat the Super Bowl team. Like that's huge. I I don't know, but I think he could. The, and he beat a Saints team. Who yeah. Supposedly, How many points did he put up? De- and he supposedly their defense is supposed to be a top, a top 10 defense. Yeah. He put up 40, 48. 48 points on their yeah. defense. Yeah. So it's I think I, mean, I think they could be a playoff team. I, I don't. Ooh. Yeah, Old I, statement on first day. Yeah, Ooh, I could. I could show, for sure. I could see them being a playoff team. Interesting. Very if interesting. They, if they keep it like That's this. That's interesting. Yeah. And I, also on that Sunday, the Lions. Almost made that comeback. Detroit, Detroit, Detroit. You're so close. Okay, we discussed this last week. Okay, if we we've, if Detroit didn't beat San Francisco, there's something wrong. Well, here's the thing. They lost by three. They mm. show they showed that they can compete. Here's the they thing. didn't quit at Patricia, which supposedly were uh, the critics, rumors. Critics around here say, oh, they're quitting at Patricia. They can't stand him. They want him gone. That's- I they believe, look like it to me. I believe Eric and I discussed this last week. We said if it was a blow-off loss, then there's something seriously wrong. Yes. If it was a close game where they were fighting till the end, then Which okay. They did. Then it's yeah. not as bad maybe as we think it is, but, I mean, they still have to be better. I mean, come on. First defenses, uh, well, I mean, it re- it was the defenses. Well, here's the thing. Like, why, kind of all, why, do, why, why does their off, why does the offense have, have to try like that? Like, you know, full tempo, full go up. With, Ten minutes left, and you're down by like seventeen. Seriously? Really? You, coaching. Why coaching. can't you do that? They, you, in they the need first to start half. it like first half, like first half, and then you just need to go with it. Like they can't did, just like they did struggle. They only put up like I want to say a touchdown and a Ken, field goal first half. Well, Kenny Galladay's touchdown in the first quarter. Good. That was yeah, an that, that, amazing yeah, that was really effort. Well, like, well, was, you start. have to have a lot of ad agility in yeah. order well, to stay good start, But the run defense is terrible. It's terrible. Yeah. 63 yards, Matt Barinda? That's and, terrible. And that's yeah. what's being talked about, too, because Matt Patricia was a defensive coach. Oh, yeah. How can you not the Patriots, stop? and now they're saying, how can they not stop the run game for Detroit? Well, it's Detroit. Well, how, well, how bad? Well, go back to the <laughs> offensive side of the ball. How bad is Stafford? How many First two time, games. He's how, bad. Um, how many times did he overthrow somebody that was wide open? It was a lot. Well, I, I just, I've. I've never seen Stafford play that bad. I haven't either. Ever. It's I've never. Well, I don't know what his deal is. I don't know if like you know, maybe having you know three three little kids is keeping up up, up at night and he's I think he too tired twins. or something. Two girl twins. I thought no. He, he has, has three. another. He has another one. It's named Hunter. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean that. Yeah, he has three girls. Yeah. Oh, okay. He has three girls. Yeah. So, 
Maybe that's keeping him up at night, but something is just not right. It's not it's something. And he also, he just, I don't like it when he always just throws, like, quick passes, like, quick slants. Like, he needs for to how go, many yards? Like, for, like, two for yards. Two, three, like, he needs, four, to go, yeah. he needs to go Here's, deep and, like, actually la- be accurate it. with yes. it. La- yeah. Last thing on the last couple things on the line. LeGarrette Blunt, are you, okay. First off, when they hit, when Jim Bob Cooter, the greatest offensive coordinator in the, in the league, okay, um... They put him, they put Blunt in, they run it every time. Honestly. They're every single yeah, time they put Blunt in, they, yeah. r- they run it. They threw, one pass, the Blunt. They f- yeah. they threw one pass to Blunt. They threw one pass to Blunt. It was what, a loss? They <laughs> lost like four yards. You can see why Blunt doesn't catch passes. Yeah. And That's why we have Theo Riddick, one of the best catch, well, then you pass have, catchers uh, back in the league. When you have mm-hmm. Kerryon Johnson, too. And Kerryon Johnson, yeah. who should be a uh, boy. And, <laughs> and then, you, then you have Blunt later in the third, or later in the fourth, who gets thrown out. Mm-hmm. You come off the bench and you show. I get that should have been a late. Marshawn Lynch. Yeah, <laughs> you did. That should have been a late hit on on Stafford. That should have been a late yeah. hit. But well, you, you don't come off the bench and hit. Some, but I mean, it's just fr- it's just frustrating through two weeks. Mm-hmm. Honestly, but and we maybe overreacting because it have, is two games. But I mean, come on. It's hey. two. Ga- but you look at our schedule, and we'll get into, into our next. Uh, match, and we'll get into yeah. our next matchup in a few. It's gonna be tough. You, but it's bad. I mean. Besides the pa- besides the Patriots, the Rams, the Seahawks, the Cowboys, Minnesota twice, Green Bay twice, Chicago Ooh, twice. Yeah, Chicago's not. Hey, and the Dolphins. I mean, I mean, if they keep doing the streak. Well, I mean, if the well, if you know the the games they've been having, the Dolphins might beat them. Hey. Uh, it, it's well, that's not until later. In yeah, the year. yeah. It's but like but we're sticking in the north. We're sticking in the north. Are the Bears really this good, or is it just a fluke? I think they're really. They got close. Really? Yeah. They got Khalil Mack. They got, no, they got Khalil Mack, and they're like... They, Rokon Smith has been doing pretty good in first yeah. two games. Their secondary's been showing up. Oh, Last year, that defense. was a huge problem for them. I think the Lions should be scared of the Bears. Just their defense. I mean, their offense has their been offense pretty good, too. Their offense is good. Really? How's Jordan but, Howard been doing? Well, I mean, yeah. Jordan Howard. But look How at him like Trey Burton. Look hey. at Allen Robinson. Allen Robinson Rod- Rod- did not have a best game last week. No, he did not. No. But here's the... Th- but, but Mitchell, Trubisky, Mitchell Trubisky has been a better leader. Well, Matt yeah. Nagy was an offensive coordinator at Kansas City. Well, here's the with all these crazy formations, like, you know, let's have let's have Trey Burton take a snap with two running backs next to him. Okay. Then that worked. And then we'll just take we'll just have our, our kickoff. <laughs> we'll have a drop kick. I mean, it's just it's too much. Like it's too out of the box. I would say. Like I mean, I like out of the box yeah, stuff, but that's too much. Like I get it. You're trying to confuse another team. But having a tight end take a direct snap. That's I not. mean, we had a look at the Philly special. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, one play. One Tom play. Brady tried to do it, but Tom Brady can't catch a ball. Yeah, we went over that last year. Yeah. But um, but it. I mean, they're just trying to I make sure they. I think having Khalil Mack is a huge. Oh, it's so. It's a huge thing for him. It's, it's a big for him. Yeah. It's a big thing for him, but. It's not get, It's not going to get Chicago over the hump. Not yet. I it shows they've been, they've been yeah. very competitive these first two games. Yeah. They should have won against Green Bay. They, they should have. But yeah, Aaron Rodgers, the magic of Aaron Rodgers always comes. But yeah, I thought he tore his ACL. Honestly, they're yeah. looking like a complete team, though. Yeah, they I'm are. not going to lie. They may not be so not strong year. on not offense. This year. So far, they have been. Yeah, they have. Aaron, they so were, far, they not have been like as strong on offense and defense, but they're being more complete than last year. Yeah, they, yeah. they'll win seven games. Seven or I eight. think I think they'll do seven uh, or eight. They're not ready yet. Uh, I, I still think, think that's a great I, season for us. But I think that's I think, a great season I for think Chicago. That yeah, that, yeah. That's a great. That's a great season. Um, NBA news: Jimmy Butler requested a trade from the Timberwolves, the Clippers, Nets, and the Knicks are his top destinations. Hmm. First then, off, it's a we, very shocking to hear that Jimmy Butler wants out. Well, first we're dipping our toes in the NBA for the first time this year. So praise. Can't wait well, for basketball. And hockey's and hockey started up but preseason. We yeah, but we won't get into that. Just until, yet. Just yet. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. But 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 for uh, for Butler, the Clippers. It seems like the Clippers for some reason are everyone's destination. Or talk they, of destination. They're talk of destination. We talked about Leonard. Possibly going up. Yeah. Yeah, and now, you know, there's rumors of Clay Thompson. That'll be interesting. And all you know, and all this stuff. And now, now Jimmy Butler. I don't know why people want to go there except the Lakers. LA, yeah. Do you think that's his best destination is the Clippers? If he Between the three? Yes. Depending on what New York can do. I can agree if, with that. Depending too. on what New York can do in free agency because there's all the talk. Get uh, Kyrie get Kyrie Irving. Kristaps is coming back. And and Jimmy Butler together with Kristaps. 
yes, that would be that would be my top destination. The Nets, I don't know why he would prefer the Nets because that just a, <laughs> that's just a dumpster fire right there. But um, maybe that's well, where he'll be a leader. Maybe who knows? But maybe it's just, maybe there's the field too. You got to think about the field. Brooklyn, New York, yeah. Maybe. You got to think about the field like the rest of the NBA. Yeah. But who knows? Maybe it'll maybe he'll stay in Minnesota maybe, if nothing works maybe out. Maybe San Antonio action. <sighs> Think about it. That'd be a great lineup. <laughs> I mean, until he says it, I'm not going to believe it. That'd be a great lineup. Murray Butler. Uh, He's the star of the team. That's the biggest name. Hang on, Murray, DeRozan, Butler, Aldridge, and uh, oh Gasol. I forgot oh, about Demar Derozan. That'd be huge, actually. Yeah. Yes, that would be huge. That'd be good. So, and then back to football. Joe Mixon's out. He was doing so good. They too. need him back. Yeah. They really. Bernard's not going to carry him. Mm-mm. He's not. And Cincinnati. Has been they're two and zero. They're leading the AFC yeah. North. Yeah, I'm surprised. That's that the biggest shocker. Yeah, that is. I am. Just, I'm more surprised that Tampa Bay's two and zero. Really? To be honest. Well, or they, the fact that Miami's two and zero. That's about. That's another action of playoffs. But Tampa Bay. Yeah. And, and now look at yeah. them. They're on top. Well, well, they also said Tampa wasn't going to do so hot this mm-hmm. year because too. no Jameis Winston the first yeah, few games. Yeah, they said that they were going to go like two and fourteen. Oh, okay. Think about that. Jameis Winston comes back this week. They need. To, yeah. Hmm. They need Ryan. Fitz. No, yeah. he's suspended this game. One yeah. more week, I think. Is it three or two? He's suspended three games. He'll three be back games. Four. He'll if be back for the for I, next week. I don't think they're going to take. Ryan if they're doing a hot, they if, should obviously think, keep Ryan. Yeah. Hunter, do you think they'll cut Winston or try and trade him? <sighs> That's an interesting question. Do you think he will stay on the roster? No. No? No. During the year, he will not stay on the roster. Or do you think they'll move him in the offseason? Pro- uh, probably, yeah, no. Pro- they'll get- Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. I, don't know. I mean, they should keep playing Fitzmagic. Yeah, well, hey, if they keep winning, I don't see why hey, they should switch him. It's not, he's not Fitzmagic. Or Fitzmagic. Well, here's the it's thing. Minka Fitzmagic. Magic. <laughs> Did you hear about that? A little bit. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's the thing. Every state, every Florida team is 2-0. and Yeah. Every Florida yes. team is 2-0. and Yeah. Crazy stats. Yeah. 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 Miami and Tampa Bay. Miami. Hmm. And Jacksonville. Yeah. And, unfortunately, one, te- one team from Ohio is 1-0. and The other one, um, they were almost there. <sighs> yeah. That's... Well, the Indians, the Cleveland Indians won the division. They're going... You're in. You're baseball. I mean, They're in. Uh, the American leave. Oh my God. It's weak. The, the yeah. AL is weak. Yes. Yeah. It's weak. Yes, it's weak. It is That's so weak. The Indians <laughs> are weak. The only two top teams are in the AL right now is Boston and Houston. That's it. Boston. Yeah. Maybe maybe the Yankees. Maybe mm-hmm. the Yankees throw. But yeah, you got the NL. You have you have LA. You have Colorado. Uh, you have Colorado, Washington. Uh, Milwaukee, St. Louis, you have all these, you have, you have really good teams. teams. Yes, mm-hmm. and then the, a, the AL, it's nothing. But uh, one success for, Cle- for our Cleveland team, mm, not so much <laughs> for the other one. 21-18, no. they lost. They could have won that game. No, yeah. no, it's not they could have, they should have. They should have. Their kicker yeah. was absolutely horrible. They cut him after two days, and then they signed and another kicker. Because yeah. he was playing with a groin injury that went undetected. So, <laughs> Greg Zerline. That, that wasn't Greg Zerline. Yes, it was. Oh, Greg Zerline got hurt Groin for, injury. For, for, for the Rams. Groin injury. Zane, Zane, Zane Gonzalez is cut. And Minnesota could have won. <laughs> Green Bay. That was a great comeback won. to tie the game. That's it. No two win. ties in two weeks. That's, That's uncalled for. They shouldn't even t- That should be a next topic. Should there be ties in the NFL? There shouldn't be, in no. my opinion. I, playoffs, I think they here's the play thing. Playoffs, they don't have it. You play, so you play, play until you win. You play until someone wins. Which play. they should do the whole thing. Yeah, they should. Cause but here's the thing. They don't want them to play so long that it can increase injury. It can increase, you know. It, that's the biggest, that's but, the biggest thing. It, it can increase injury and, you know, plus the TV, get, TV outlets, they have so much time. To get a game, if a game goes longer than its normal time, then they're they're out. I how mean, would you do that with the playoffs then? The playoffs, the playoffs, the playoffs, I guess, the, matter more. The playoffs, they get extended coverage for it. That's um, why. 
I mean, you got to look at it for a fan perspective too. Who well, wants yeah, to watch a yeah. football game and see a tie? Yeah, I like, honestly, I, I was so disappointed. I was really. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if I'm a Green Bay fan or a Minnesota fan, I go to you know. Or Cleveland if you're about <laughs> to win. But hey, yeah, at least I, I, I live all the way. I pay the money for the tickets. I buy food. I buy everything there, and I and they and you get and a tie. tie. Fans, yeah, I don't like no. that. I don't it's not like a win. That. It's not a lot. And it's it's just something to screw up the stats at the end of the year. It screws up the stats. Screws up the records for who yeah. makes it for the playoffs. Everything just gets messed up. Yeah. It's it's yeah. <laughs> College football? Yes. Okay. Maine at Central Michigan and Central Michigan's 0-3. Uh, okay, you know Central. what? If this is... We said they were going to win last week, didn't we? But, but they didn't. They, they, didn't. Didn't. they didn't. They played a good game. They played a good game against Northern Illinois, but... It's more competitive than the first two. It just wasn't enough. Yeah. Maine, I don't even know a thing about Maine. So I'm going... Central this is Central. Central. Yeah. Nebraska... At number 19, Michigan. This has been a talked about game just because yeah. of Scott Frost being head coach. Here's back. the thing on this. Nebraska last week lost to Troy. Yes. They lost to Troy, a team that, like, okay, who is this? But it's but they're going into the big house. They're playing Michigan. Are you saying they're going to and Michigan and, Mi and Michigan is going to stomp all over these guys. Okay. Yes. They are. They're going to. Yeah. They've yeah. been looking better. They've been looking way better than their first game. Yes. Yeah. I gotta go Michigan. 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 And then we have number 24, Michigan <laughs> State, who's coming off the bye week. And Indiana. Apparently, they ranked up a spot after not playing a game. <laughs> yeah, what is that? Take it all, take it. We'll take it all day. <laughs> they gotta play better, though. They have they to. You have to play better. Off. This is gonna be a good, good one for them. If the Warkey doesn't have a good game, really. No one does. No playing one does. in Indiana is not, it's, you know, it's no picnic playing in Indiana. Not a picnic, but it'll be yeah. a great thing for them if they win. Oh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. That's huge. why they have to win this game. It's That's why I'm picking Evans. It's gonna be because MSU. if they beat Indiana, they come back next. They come back home next week. They play Central, and they're gonna beat Central. Uh, so that's gonna be huge. By that time, they'll have three wins. But for now, they're gonna get their second. Okay. All right. Yeah, Michigan. You gotta go Probably one of the most. These next four are entertaining. <laughs> number twenty-two A and M, and number one Bama. Now, last week we said. Uh, that Old Miss would keep it close with Bama. <laughs> yeah, and that wasn't the case. <laughs> it was close in the first ten minutes. Yeah. yeah. And then it was a blowout, kind of like the Lions and the Jets. Yeah. So, oh, so, oh, so, uh, Alabama was looking great. Alabama was Alabama was, it's oh been my old time. you got to roll. This um, is not even fair. I'm going to go with Texas a &M. Whoa. I always got to go with that. You're going to get the Nick Saban death stare. Hey. <laughs> I got to go Alabama. Come on. Hmm. Come on. Two star You're quarterbacks. Are you kidding me? on your first show. I am. There you good. are. Hey. So, and then we have number seven, Stanford, and number 20, Oregon. Oregon's well, coming Pat, back this season. Pat After 10, a bad season last Pat, season, they're Pat back. 12 action. I'm going with the Cardinal. I gotta go Stanford. 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 And Our now, come back. and probably one of the shocking upsets to this point of the year, Wisconsin fell to BYU 24-21 to last week. That was huge for me as well. They went from the, they went all the way from six to eighteen. That's they dropped. That's crazy. And now that their confidence and just their everything is shaken by that loss, not a conference. They're going to Iowa, what playing you, Iowa. What are you saying? That Wisconsin's bouncing backs are getting this one. Okay. okay. Yeah, 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 I was going to go. Yeah, with Wisconsin Iowa, you, too. Yeah. I mean, you can't sleep on Iowa. To be honest, they can come back and rip you apart. Oh yeah, they, yeah, can. they can. They've yeah. done it. They've yeah, done they've it. Definitely done it. But I gotta go if you, Wisconsin's gonna yeah, come Wisconsin. back. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I mean they could. They Wisconsin could have tied it, but they ended up missing like a forty-five. Yeah, these are weight games, goal. man. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, and probably one of the most entertain, entertaining rivalries in college is Florida and Tennessee. Hmm. Florida is okay. They're they're doing okay. Tennessee's doing okay. Un, like under par. Like they're they're subpar. That's they're not. You know they're not looking too good. But. But but it's at home. That's the only right, only way Tennessee's going to win this game. I mean, when you if they were going to the swamp, it would have been it would have been a different, different story. Yeah. But since they're on Rocky Top, they're going to win this game. I mean, look at this. Not by point. much. Not by Not much, much at all. Let me point this out. The NFL Florida teams are doing amazing so far. And look yeah. at the college Florida teams. They suck. They suck. <laughs> but this week, I think Florida's going to win. Pick your poison. I, Pick your poison, Florida fans. Florida. You know Florida? Florida? Yeah. All right, Florida. Yeah. Florida's a bomb, so. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's going bold. All right, National Football League, week two. Love me some football. All right. After a crazy week last week. Uh, that's <laughs> an understatement, to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, we're going we're gonna to get this started with Indiana 
trailing to Philly, and Philly's the favorite. So Philly's coming it, off it, a tough, it, it is minus tough, six tough, and tough a half. loss. Tough, tough, tough loss for Philadelphia. But Carson Wentz is coming back. Mm-hmm. But yeah, how good do you think he'll do? I think it'll be better than what Nick Foles has been doing these past two weeks. <laughs> I mean, all right. You they're probably you're... not going to play him, like, hardcore, like, run every time. Like, because when he, like, runs Indy. for touchdowns. That's Indiana, too. It depends on how their defense is. If, like, Indianapolis Indianapolis been, they're going, Indy's been playing. They're going up. Indy, Indy's head coach, was Philly's offensive coordinator. So it's kind Very of. Very good point. So it's, it's a. It's huge for him. Yeah, so guess what, you know. What are you play, saying? Game planning for that Indy's, that the Colts are going to. Carson Wentz. I, you know, the Colts are going to win this game. I think the Colts are going to win this game, too. You do. I got to yeah. go with the favorite on this. Well, think about it. Luck had a pretty good game last Luck week. Besides the picks and yeah. besides the picks and stuff, Luck is slowly coming back and against yeah. Philly. Oh, yeah. It's been, what, two yes. years without football? He's been great. This is yeah. this is his wake up call. This is the wake game. Up call? This, this is his wake up call, and wow. this is the game where he wakes up and he's like, "Okay, it's time for me to actually play football again." And this is where I show it. Old yeah. statement of the week. Yeah. And this I is do, where yeah. I show it. Yeah. Wow. So no, I gotta go Philly on this though. I'm yeah. I'm Indy. All right. Interesting. So and then, also before we continue, we're bringing back our locks and our upsets, Woo! just like we did last year. So I'm gonna win them all. Yeah. Okay. I don't know just like you were last year. <laughs> Cincinnati is trailing to Carolina. Oh man! I always Ooh. think of these matchups as just as goofball matchups. Like, but Cincinnati has been like these are just weird matchups. Yeah, they, like, ca- they are. Like it. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, New Orleans and Atlanta. It's division. It's good football. And yeah. Car- uh, Tennessee, Jacksonville, good football. <laughs> Carolina, Carolina and Cincinnati. Carolina and Cincinnati. <laughs> but we, have, but it's the game for this week. Yeah. And Cincinnati is getting three for this one. Wow, but, that'll be huge for them. Marvin Lewis coming back. Mm-hmm. But I'm going. Super wow. Cam. Wow. Interesting. Super Cam. And this one, I'll take them. Even though they're away, just Cincinnati's just been on fire. Yeah. He's been playing great defenses too. Very. They obliterated Baltimore's defense last mm-hmm. week, which yeah. stunned me. So I gotta go Cincinnati. Yeah. Three and zero Bengals. Mm-hmm. They're gonna win. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It'll be crazy if Carolina wins so. though. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Then we have New Orleans is trailing to Atlanta. For this one, great game to watch. Yeah, it's, it's going to be in the dome. It's going to be a shootout. Um, yeah, I'm taking Drew Brees in this one. Take I like, Drew Brees. I like the I like the Saints. <sighs> Even though Matt Ryan had an unbelievable game with two touchdowns, <laughs> two rushing it, touchdowns yeah, in, the, yeah, yeah. in the air and on the ground. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm going with New Orleans. What do you think, Hunter? I'm going to have to go with Atlanta because that game with the Saints and the Browns were way too close to call. That's a so, good point. That's yeah. Good point. That's good point. Unless the Browns are just that good this season, but we'll, we won't know until they play. And also Atlanta beat the Panthers. What was the score? Like, like 31-24? Yeah. 31-24. So yeah. I, yeah, I'm going to go with Atlanta with this game. i got to go Atlanta, too. The thing that hyped me up most was when Matt Ryan threw it to Calvin Ridley for his first NFL touchdown. Yeah. They're I like, think that's going to be huge for they, this season. Don't right. they have a... Um, Cole, what's his name for? Tevin Coleman. Yeah. Tevin oh, Coleman is, back up for Devontae. Yeah. He's been on fire. 100 yeah. rushing so, yards last game. So, I'm gonna go on Atlanta. He, te- yeah. by, by the way, Tevin Coleman will be starting this week because Devontae Freeman still. Isn't yeah. he starting for like three weeks? About two or three weeks. See what yeah. happens with Devontae. See what he yeah. does. Yeah. If he yeah. recovers yeah. soon. Yeah. So and then Denver is traveling to Baltimore after Denver beat Oakland by a point, which they shouldn't have. That was, but that was they cool did, and Baltimore. Hmm. Baltimore, if they need to win a game, they need to win yeah, it now after what it. happened against Cincinnati. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, will they? Because Denver's looking pretty good these first Denver two weeks. Denver is pretty. Is looking pretty they good. They are looking pretty thank good. You. Yeah, they thank are. You. I'm thank not going to lie. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Take your credit for something I didn't even do. But uh, <laughs> i got to go Baltimore just because of home advantage. I'm, just because of the home boo. advantage. Mm, I'm going to have to disagree with that. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to go with Denver. Interesting. Yeah, they... I like this guy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not really that big of a fan, but I also don't like the Ravens. Right, yeah. And so, like, I, Denver's looking hot, 2-0. Right, to yeah. They're about to be 3-0. I, th- I think they're going to huh. pull the one out. Yeah. So, and then, and then in another goofball matchup, in my opinion, we got the New York Giants going to Houston. <laughs> okay, Houston, Desha- okay, Deshaun Watson, he's not as good as people think. I'm just throwing it out there. All right, just want to say for the first two weeks, I'm not saying for the whole season, Obviously, but first two weeks he's been a bust. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Then the Giants. 
They've shown signs of life, but not enough to win football games. Exactly. Yeah. Football games. <laughs> not enough to win football games. But yeah. you know what? This will be my upset. New York will win their first game against what? Houston. What? Yep. Really? Okay. I think everybody's going to go off. They I have, like, I mean, I like come on. Old. New York has great offensive uh, talent. Evan Ingram at tight end. Odell Beckham Jr. is back. Saquon drafting second overall. I mean, Eli, yeah, we tell, all depends on what he does. Tell yeah. me about their defense. <laughs> well, exactly. that's a different story. <laughs> yeah, exactly, because there's nothing but, to But, I mean, about. Deshaun Watson hasn't been doing too much on offense, so, so that's why I'm going to give this upset win. Right. New York Giants, football Giants. All right, and then we go to our specialist here. Oh, hey. boy. The Oakland Raiders are traveling to Miami to play the Dolphins. Hey. It's an easy dub, Miami 3-0. Can you explain the, why? Their rushing game is on Okay, point. Kenyon Drake to this point, he had one touchdown against the Jets, okay? It's the New York Jets, a team that was so overhyped against Detroit. Exactly. And how many yards did Kenyon Drake rush for? Not more than 100. Uh, so their rush, their running game is not as good as you think. But also, we're talking. They have, they're better than last year. They have Frank Gore hey, too as their. But we're uh, also presence. talking about the Oakland Raiders here. Yeah, what they're, the Oakland Raiders season? They're nothing. Uh, almost beat the Broncos by, a, but they lost. But by they a point. did. But almost. Yeah. So this is my. Uh, lock. And Miami did win last week. Actually, it's that's, my lock too. This is my lock. My lock. My, uh, Oakland Miami. just needs to step it up. Yeah. But Miami's got this game. Hmm. This is a toss up. What about you? Yeah, it's a toss-up, but I'm going Oakland as my upset. Oh, yeah, oh, you're upset. I'm taking the Raiders. Interesting. So, but here, Danny Amendola, he's done. He's done. Hey. See ya. Hey. He's done. He got hit. He got hit pretty hard. Yeah. But here's the, th- Tannehill to this point, hit like I I know you're huge on Tannehill, huge yeah. on Tannehill. Tannehill, he's you know. He's playing good to this point, but they haven't played. He hasn't played a good defense yet. He's played a New York Jets defense and a Tennessee Titans defense. But also, okay. you gotta, But also, you got to think. He's last time he played, he led them to a playoff season. Right, but you have to look at what they had too. And all they also what had the Jarvis will do. They also had Jarvis Landry. They also had other weapons. They on had offense. Julius Thomas. Yes, but, but they had other weapons on offense. This Miami team right now. Just because they beat the Jets in the but so Titans, far they've been stepping up. And they beat the Titans in a seven-hour game. Eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. That's the longest game I've ever seen. Longest oh game in NFL history. Ooh, I'm just going to put that out right there. Bucks. But other than your running game, what else do you think you guys have to beat Oakland? Um, Serious? Because on paper, I we don't We got Fitz it. Magic. We got Minka Fitzpatrick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, Derek Carr has been struggling his first two games, though, too. He's been Honestly, struggling, but... John Gruden has been giving him so much hype. saying the whole offense has to surround him, but... Also, Jakeem Grant. With it, here's the thing. Jared Cook running post routes all day. Are they winning games, Aaron? But here's the thing. Are they Jared winning Cook games? Is are they winning Aren't games? Aren't they 0-2? Yeah, they're 0-2. It doesn't mean they're going to they get their first dub right 2-0 here. 2-0 versus 0-2. It doesn't I... mean anything. Oh, no. It doesn't mean anything. We'll talk but, about that next time we have a conversation like this, and he'll be different. Yeah. But then we have Green Bay trailing to Washington. Green Bay is going to march all over these guys. <sighs> Sad to say. Sad to say. Sad to say. Yeah. I agree with that. All right. Hey, not about this next story. game, though. Yeah, this next game is going to be yeah. interesting. Buffalo is going to Minnesota, and <laughs> Buffalo's favored by 16 <laughs> Minnesota, <laughs> points. Minnesota's favored by 16 and a half yeah. points, not yeah. Buffalo. Yeah, I think that they, yeah, Buffalo's getting 16 and a yeah. half there points. There you go. Yeah, Minnesota's going to take this. Yeah, Minnesota's going to tear them to shreds. Come on. Yeah. yeah. What's our hit? Say a friend at Kansas City. we got to talk about Kansas City this season, Yeah, real guys. quick. Real Come quick. on. They're, they're they cool. are they're cool. amazing. They're cool. Overhyped. They're cool. Overhyped. Overhyped. What? They played great defenses their first two games. Pittsburgh. What? Pittsburgh's a great defense. Pits, yeah, what the heck? Are they a top ten defense? They're a great defense. Not on paper, they're not. They're a great defense. They're not on paper, they're not a top ten but defense. That's paper. Look at the game. And who do they play week one? The Chargers, but that was the Chargers. Still, are ooh, the Chargers. You overhyped the Chargers. That, that, was, I, that yes. was still a close game, wasn't it? Yes, I overhyped. It was a close game. It, it was a, a shootout. It was like a 10 point game. It was a 10 point game. No, it was like 48 to 38. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see how well they can. San Francisco is not going to be their true test. But when they actually play, a t- like. Like who? I don't oh, know yeah. if they play New England this year. 
I New England's don't. defense isn't even that strong. No, I don't think they play. New England's either. defense is, isn't even oh, that okay. strong. Okay, no. When they play the when they play the Rams this year, we'll see how tough this. Oh Kansas well, no, City that's going to be obvious. The Rams are going to win because they got tied the early. But it's just like at the start they have, honestly. Yeah, they're, they're, the they're yeah they're they're they're. Uh, so good, far, everything it's a good they, start for them. So far, everything they said is happening, which is yeah. great to hear. Look yeah. at the start Kansas City had last year. Oh, look at Kareem Hunt. Look at Kareem Hunt go, and then Kareem Hunt fell off the face of the earth last year. They also made the playoffs last year. They did, but they did lose to Titans. They lost to Tennessee. But the Titans should have won that game. But yeah, see, I've seen Kansas City. They were hyping them up because they went into New England, into New England last year and they beat them. And then they won Week Two. They were two and zero. It's the same circumstance now. But they have a new quarterback. This could all be different. Yeah. A running back can be replaceable, Aaron. Look at James yeah. Conner and Le'Veon Bell. That yeah. can be replaceable. Yeah. Well, quarterback could be replaceable. I mean, you had not you much. Had, Look no. at Tyrod Taylor compared yeah. to Josh Allen <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Ooh, Nathan Peterman. That's a pretty big difference. Yeah, because um, Buffalo was a playoff team last a, year. That's a different situation. Yeah, that's the that, same situation. He just doesn't want to stand that. Right. They were a playoff team. Now they're like they're, they're horrible. They're horrible. But like, I mean, I mean, when it comes to this matchup, Kansas City at the 49ers, who are you gonna take? Honestly, Kansas City. Exactly. Yeah. Kansas, yeah, Kansas City. Kansas. They're gonna go three and zero. Yeah. yeah. Well then, all right, and then. We have, we have a battle of the L.A.s. This yeah. will be an amazing game. The Chargers, the Chargers be a really and the Rams. Game. This has been heard as a lot of Super Bowl predictions to two L.A. teams, NFC and AFC. I'm going with the Rams as my lock. Your lock? That's my lock. That's pretty good. I'm going to go San Fran as my upset. San, F- San Fran. San Fran. Not San Fran, Chargers. The Chargers. As I read ups. that wrong, guys. Too many California the Char- teams. So, so, too many, yeah, too many. So you're going with the Dolphins as your lock and, and the Chargers as your upset. That's yes, pretty sir. Oh, it's just toss This is honestly. Yep, a- I'm going with the Rams as my lock and the Raiders as my upset. I just realized we did the same games. <laughs> So, Honestly, this game is a flip of a coin for me because they both is. have great running games. It's they both have good. the wide receivers. Yeah, mm, the they both have the quarterbacks. The what? The running game's not 100 percent there for the Chargers. Not Melvin Gordon, Gordon? really? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Compare it to Todd Gurley. Are you kidding? Well, me? they're both top ten running backs. Yeah. they're both top five running backs probably. Like, okay, not top five, top ten. Name Who? your top five running backs. Top five running backs right now. Playing right now. Playing right yeah. now. Uh, Gurley, Connor. Where's my fancy sheet? <laughs> <laughs> See, folks? Car- definitely, Melvin Car- Gordon is definitely up there. He's not a t- He's probably like seven on my list. Okay, I'll take that. Okay. But he's still good. Okay. I'm go- I got to get the Rams just because. My God. All right. Let's- Rams. All right. Chicago and Arizona. Mine is. Arizona's getting six. All right. Here's Chicago. I want to. I want to say this real quick. They're both having the complete opposite seasons they're expected. Chicago wasn't expected to do too good this season, and Arizona's expected to, to do good with David Johnson coming back. Mm-hmm. Arizona's complete trash right now, <laughs> and are. Chicago is doing better than what they're supposed to be. I can just say that. Right. Yeah. So, because of this, i got to give Chicago. David Johnson's game. terrible. He's a bust. He's a bust so far. Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Chicago. And Easy. then, it seems like these two always play each other. Dallas yeah. at Seattle. Dallas is, uh, take that back. Seattle is minus one and a half. They need this win. They need it. They have nobody. Wow, on this is a out. battle of two teams that stink. Uh, that don't have receivers. Pretty much, yeah. I gotta go to Seattle though. Yeah, at Seattle, Seattle that twelfth man. Um, they gotta hype them up. I'm gonna go with Dallas on this. Interesting. One. Mm. Okay, go with Dallas. Interesting. Okay, and then we have Sunday Night Football. <laughs> New England, who was one and one after losing to Jacksonville last week. Jacksonville at, at Detroit, who is O in two. Oh, Detroit. Detroit's getting six and a half points. Uh, I'm gonna go with Detroit on this one. They're versing the Patriots, but like you got you gotta people are underestimating the Lions. Just I'm because the why? just because they lost to the Jets in San Fran, that's okay, but you also gotta think it's Matt Patricia's first year coaching. Yeah, right. And also, this is basically like a big like drama game with Bill Pilicek and Matt Patricia. So like, it's basically they're saying Patricia has the edge in this, just because of defense. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mm. yeah I got yeah. Detroit but on this one. Do you know what's going to be huge for me? What? Mm. How the running game? Josh Gordon does. Oh. Interesting. It's. Cause that's big news. He's now a New England Patriot. Yeah. If he goes off, but also say he has freaking seventy yards and a touchdown, that'll be amazing for him. Also, you got to think about Legarrette Blunt. You got to think about this. Darius Slay's not playing in this game either. That's gonna be huge. Yeah. 
I but, I'm sorry, Detroit. I'm giving New England. I can't even right now. But and, I'll, and I have to digress. I'm going with the New England Patriots. Oh, no. Sorry, but I mean, come on. But, hey, you know, but I stick with New the England team. He's going to cover this. I'm picking New England not to win, just to cover the spread. The but Detroit point. will win this game. Interesting. I'm sorry. I think New England is going to win. The Patriots will cover the spread. They will cover the spread. But then we go to Monday Night Football. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tampa. Minus one is the spread only. Tampa. Only? Only. And I'm sticking with the... I'm hopping on the Buccaneer bandwagon. I'm going with Fitzmagic. Buccaneer bandwagon. <sighs> it's not Fitzmagic. It's Fitzmagic. It's no. Ryan Fitzmagic. Minka Fitzpatrick. It's Ryan Fitzmagic. I already said that he owns Fitzmagic. Hmm. But when it comes to this game, when it comes to the game, who do you like? I got. I got. I like Tampa. I think this will be their reality check for Tampa. Yep. I think they're still gonna have a pretty decent season, but I gotta get Pittsburgh this game. Calling it right now, James Conner two touchdowns. That right would be now. nice for my. Now, fantasy. do you want him to have two touchdowns, or do you think he actually will have two touchdowns? Oh, he will have two that, touchdowns. That I guess be... this Tampa Bay running, this Tampa Bay's defense. Yeah. He that would, would, all right. That'd be nice for my. Just like Cleveland, Tampa Bay's running defense is like Cleveland's. So. Yeah. All right, it's time for the fantasy zone. Fantasy football. All right, we're going to start with the sets. Interesting. So to the sets. Set of the week is Rivers at the Rams. Think about that. Rivers is a tough quarterback to sit after this hot start. Honestly. But. In the stance here. But he's faced two of the NFL's worst pass defenses in Kansas City and Buffalo. Very true. Yeah. Very true. This week, the veterans facing a Rams defense. Yeah. That hasn't a lot of touchdown pass in its first two games. Plus, coming off a shutoff game last week. If you decide to start Rivers, temper expectations in this battle of Hollywood. Dak Dang Prescott shit. against the Seahawks. Prescott had a nice had a nice win against the Giants last week, but the quarterback still had a mere 14 points. He failed to score 15 points in his nine out of his last ten. And the Legion of Boom is extinct. A road game against the Seahawks is still enough to bench Prescott. Yep. Yeah. I got Derek Carr that. against the Dolphins. Derek Carr looked good in last week's loss to the Broncos, completing 90, over 90% of his passes, of his passer rating of 114. Unfortunately, he mustered 15 points. That's it. Next is a road more. matchup in Miami. In his last 11 contests, Carr has just has just one game with multiple touchdown passes and scored 16 points at once. Yeah, Case agree, Keenum against Baltimore. Really? It, it, Baltimore's defense... Well, great against Buffalo. Yeah. But, but terrible against Cincinnati. Yeah, that was... Uh, well, yeah. Keenum was a disappointment last week, 14 points. Uh, it was a nice matchup on paper against Oakland. Yep. Mm-hmm. But now he's heading east to play Baltimore. That'll be huge for him. Yeah. Just one quarterback to finish better than the than 15 fantasy points or over in the last nine games. Mm-hmm. Um, Mariota against Jacksonville. I think Brian could clear, clarify that one. Jacksonville. Sit him and bust, bust Andrew Luck against Philly. And, and Andy Dalton at Carolina and Ryan Tannehill against Oakland. I'm sorry. It's just. It's how it is. I picked Tom Brady up for my fantasy. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> let's, go, let's, go start, let's go start your quarterbacks. Dude, I mean. You gotta still start Patrick Mahomes. I don't care if there's any like key check or anything. If he's a bust, come on. Ten touchdowns, two games. Uh, the defense, odd. San Francisco's defense is not good against quarterback fantasy wise, giving up twenty two points. Mm-hmm. And right. then I know I talked about this though, but I still think Ryan Fitzpatrick will still have a good game. Yeah, yeah, very good. I mean, man. it's Pittsburgh's second worst in allowing fantasy points to QBs behind the Chiefs, who allow thirty one. Right. So I gotta go with Fitz Magic and Patrick Mahomes. I do think that game will be a like a high scoring game. Like, I think it will too. It will be. Yep. Every game they play is a high, technically like a high scoring game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're always in shootouts. Yeah. What else you got? That's all I got for my starts. Just, just Patrick Mahomes. Yep. Just start Patrick Legio. Mahomes. They're gonna lead you, man. <sighs> all right, let's go to running backs then for you. All right. You said this earlier. I don't know if he'll get two touchdowns, but I mean, James Conner. The legend, yeah. James We talked about it earlier. I mean, the Bucks defense is just horrible against the, the run. run. Yeah, and is. then James Conner. He's been pretty good. He's been 90% of offensive snaps for Pittsburgh and scored about 54 fantasy points already. That's mm-hmm. pretty good. And then it's better what Bell did last year at this, <laughs> at this point. I mean, you talked about Jordan Howard 
not having a good start, but he's playing the Cardinals. And what did yeah. we say about the Cardinals? They Horrible they start. They, They've been giving up <laughs> very five bad. touchdowns already this season just from running backs. Good. Maybe I mean, he can get in the defense this time. And their defense allows the most no fantasy bias. points yeah. to running backs. So you got to start those two. Those are good. Yeah. Yeah. Who are your sits for? My sits, it's LaShawn backs. McCoy against the Vikings. Oh, First man, off, LaShawn yeah. McCoy has not looked good. Second, it's the Vikings. That's all I have to say on That's, that. Derrick Henry against Jacksonville. You can clarify on that one for me. Jacksonville. Alex Collins against Denver. Collins was expected to be the Ravens featured back, but he's seen fewer snaps. Mm-hmm. And, seen, and seen the same... And, uh, has had the same number of touches as uh, Buck Allen after two weeks. Running back by committee. Allen has also seen the goal line work, which hurts Collins' appeal. Mm-hmm. And yeah. hurts him. You need touches, Furthermore, right? a matchup against Denver makes him more makes him less attractive this week. Jamal Williams against Washington. That should be huge for him. Mm-hmm. At a sit in each of the first two weeks, Williams <laughs> is now a, is a sit hat trick. He's failed to secure the top spot in the Packers' backfield. And the return of Aaron Jones from suspension makes him an even bigger risk. I keep him on the sidelines in the matchup against the skin. Set Royce Freeman against Baltimore, even though he had a great game last week. Still great back. Still great back. Still great back, but uh, he's a preseason darling after a a breakout runner by Philip Lindsay, which is a pretty good pickup. Pretty good pickup. Addition to that, Corey Mm -hmm. Clement, Fitzpatrick, uh, Josh Brown, if you haven't picked them up. Pretty good pickups. Pretty good. Uh, and Sidhams, busts. But I never thought I'd say this. Busts. David Johnson against Chicago. <sighs> Tears. <laughs> Adrian but. Peterson against Green Bay. Ah, oh. Adrian Peterson plays Green Bay again. That will be interesting. That will be very Chris Carson against the Cowboys and Mar- Marilyn Mack against the Eagles. I'm going to go with receivers before we get you to your starts. Center of the week is Corey Davis against Jacksonville. Yep. And you, again... Can't start anybody against Jacksonville, really, no, unless you have no one else to start. Michael okay. Crabtree against Denver. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a hit or mess between Baltimore and Denver players this week, so you know it's it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. Uh, Randall Cobb against the uh, Redskins. Uh, Cobb continued his trend with a bad stat line against Minnesota with a mere seven PPR points. That's one again. Point. It was a good defense, but he's. I fake Cobb again as he faced the Redskins, who allow fifty. About a 50% passer rating to quarterbacks. That's, that's We're thrown to the slot against them after the f- first two weeks. Sit Mike Williams against the Rams. Sit Calvin Benjamin against the Vikings. Yep. Sit Jordy Nelson at the Dolphins. Tyler Boyd at the Panthers. Demarius Thomas at Baltimore. And Kenny Stills versus Oakland. Wow. Yeah. All right, what do you got? Again, we just keep going back to these teams. Tampa Bay, Deshaun Jackson. He looks to be the number one for Ryan Fitzpatrick. I mean, mm-hmm. as long as Fitzpatrick's still playing, you might as well throw it to him. And yep. plus, he has a 100% catch radius. That's insane. And mm-hmm. he ranks third in PPR points among wide receivers this season. Yeah. Right. I think that's crazy. And then, I think you got to start Nelson Aguilar versus the Colts. Right. With uh, Alshon Jeffrey oh, he's still good. out. Oh, he's and good. then Carson Wentz coming back. Mm-hmm. And he's the most targeted uh, receiver in two weeks already. And yeah. plus, he's going to face a not-so-good cornerback by the name of Kenny Moore II. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's just going to give him great chances for this week. So, I guess mm-hmm. you got to start those two. Yeah. We're going to flip the defenses real quick. I'll fly through these. De- Center of the week is Denver against Baltimore. Yes. Mm-hmm. We have Pittsburgh against Tampa. Yes. The Chargers against the Rams. Sit the you can Chargers. Sit both of them. Yeah. You can sit, sit the I'd Rams rather start the Rams Washington. over the Chargers, but you could sit both of them, to be honest. Yep. Oh. Sit them both. Um... Sit the Niners at the Chiefs, the Titans, <laughs> yeah. Titans against the Jags, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely. the Saints against the Falcons, okay. and the Redskins against the Packers. Right. I mean, where do you got to start defenses? got to go obvious, the Vikings and the Bills. We talked about how The bad. Bills? No, the Vikings. No. Uh, start the Vikings, oh, Vikings defense against versus the Bills. The Bills. Oh, yeah. Because, like, yeah, I mean, start the Bills. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, no, definitely, <laughs> not, definitely not. Horrible quarterbacks, and... Actually, the Vikings defense has averaged about uh, 14, 15 points per game against the Bills last season. So let's see if they can that's continue real, that or do better. That's really good if you're in a league that scores high in High defenses. defenses. Yeah. Their defense is going to score high. And then the Bears and Cardinals. We talked about how horrible Arizona has been. And then the Bears have just been amazing. And then the Bears lead the NFL in sacks, which is mm-hmm. 10. Right. So look out for more sacks this season. Mm-hmm. This week? At this week, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sit. All right, I'm going to go tight end. Sit. Sit, Tyler Eifert. Sit Ebron. I don't know where Ebron came from last week. When he had oh, yeah. Ebron is. No, e- Ebron wants to. I mean, sit Ricky Seals Jones against the Bears. Sit Austin Severe Jenkins against the Titans. 
Uh, San Antonio Gates against the Rams. Charles Clay at the Vikings. I mean, there's a pretty common pattern starting players against the Bills. You gotta start Kyle Rudolph at tight end. Yeah. He had 14.2 points against He's the Packers. He's the start of the week, eh? Yep. He was pretty good against oh, the Packers. Confidence and then this week. I almost <laughs> yeah. dropped them this morning. Okay. The Bills good. defense have allowed two touchdowns for players in the slot, and Kyle Rudolph likes to play in the slot, or they like the Vikings man, like to play him in the slot. So man, you gotta watch I, out for that. Man, I hope Delvin Cook plays this week. That's, God, me, that's man. Me. And then you gotta start Trey Burton. He had a great game Trey last Burton. week. And then again, Cardinals. Well, yeah, dude, and they give up 14 PPR points a week to tight ends. Right, yeah. So Trey Burton is going to go off this week. That's my soft. And then, really quick, the kickers. Set of the week, you sit McManus. You sit Boswell against Tampa Bay. Kickers are. You sit, you sit the, you sit the uh, Polish Polish leg against the Cowboys, even though he had a 56 yarder. That's great. Yeah. Um, and Caleb Sturgis against the Rams. Sit Bullock at the Panthers. Dustin Hopkins against Green Bay. Sit Adam Vinatieri at the Eagles. And Sid Matt Prater against the Patriots. Mm. I mean, real quick, your kickers before we go. You gotta go with the obvious Robbie Gold. I mean, even though he's playing a pretty tough team, Kansas City. I mean, gosh, he's always been a great kicker. He's been one of the one of the best kickers since last season when Jimmy G came. And then you gotta go with Matt Bryant. I mean, that's gonna be a shootout, so I think there's gonna be a lot of field goals and extra points. But out of those two, between uh, Will Lutz and Bryant, I think Bryant will have the other side. All right. And well, that's all we got for this week. Hunter, thank you for filling in this week. We appreciate it. Well, we hope to have you back on the show pr- pretty soon. All right. And our fantasy input was brought to you by Michael, uh, Michael Fabiano from the NFL.com oh, website. Yep. Bless, bless, Tana. I'm Kyle Collin right now by mid-year for the Raiders. Doug Martin will be the starting running back. Oh, no. Oh, no, right. no, yep. no, there you go. Let's, no, no. So that's, that's all we got. Be sure, be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram. And Sam Martin, apologies, we ran out of time again. Uh, we'll try and get you back on as soon as we can. So, until then, as always, keep going.